welcome back to my channel. My name is Tammy, and what's your name? Ara. 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 How old are you? Ara is two years old. In today's video, I want to introduce learning material to parents that are actually searching for what activity to engage your child with this is a very good material it's a learning aid i call them i really don't call them toys but i call them learning materials the name of this is children color classification toy i'm sorry we've read the label we've been using this for a while but i'm going to drop a link on how you can get this on amazon in the description box this activity is good for so many things it's good it helps your child to learn their color recognition it helps them to learn different kind of animals because they're actually in animals it has colorful bows and it came with this picker as well they can actually use this to pick the animals and sort the colors as well by so doing it helps their fine motor skills it helps their concentration it helps them to focus on the activity they are doing at times so you may want to consider this activity when you are buying toys for your children and also you can use this activity to do some problem solving as well what i did here is i got a plain sheet and i cut it into this shape and then i wrote um different numbers on it we can go ahead and you're getting this on getting the flashcard on amazon but if you don't mind you can do the diy yourself just for your child to you know to learn with you can laminate it or use a, a very hard paper to do it so that it could last longer so now i'm going to invite ara to do this just as we've been doing so that you can see how to do it as well now let's get started so this is what we have i actually brought out all the toys and i pour all the animals in a bowl um ara you're gonna help me sort all these colors are you ready yeah good so once you sort it you count you let me know the number so they can actually after counting they just place the number of item or the number of animal in the bowl they place it on the card you place it on the card this is a very good activity okay i'm gonna zoom the camera so you can get to see this what i just did is to separate the bowls and to put the flashcards on the table ara are you ready for us yeah okay ara pick the colors the animals the different colors sort them in the bowl red red okay you want to start with red yeah. now counts how many do you have there five good now show me number five this one. beautiful good job now take the next bowl what color do you want to take hmm, purple good purple now count the purple animal two, two, two. count it let's go one two just two okay show me number two this one good beautiful good job next one what's the next color green green now count it one two three three show me number three beautiful good job take the next color of bowl good now count it beautiful how many do you have there four. now show me four this one. good job good job the next one what color hmm, orange. good beautiful show me the number six, six. 
Good job. The last one. Oh, the last one is color. What color is that? Blue. Good. Now count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wow, seven. Show me number seven. Yeah. Woo! Beautiful! You did it! You did it! Clap for yourself! This is the next um, activity we're going to be using. We've been using it now for a while. The name is Mathematical Intelligence Sticks. As usual, I'm going to drop the link of how you can get this on Amazon because that's where we got this from. And um, it says age 3 plus. But for me, Ara has started using this even before she's 3. Yeah, she's, still, she's gonna be three very soon. You know, any child that is able to count from one to hundred or from one to whatever should be able to use this material. We've been using this for a while now. I'm gonna show you, you know, lots of things you can use this for. It has some signs like addition, subtraction, multiplication. Number is actually from one to ten. We are gonna use this today. I want you to see the different ways you can use this material to help your child, you know, in the area of um, identification of their numbers and also being able to identify numbers at random. Sometimes the kids might know some numbers by cramming in a systematic manner, but just play with the numbers to know if they actually know those numbers. So stay tuned and see how we're gonna use this. How many sticks do you have there? One, two, three. Good. Can you give me three? Okay, here go. Good job. Beautiful. Now, Ara, can you tell me how many sticks do you have there? Okay, one, two. Two sticks. Can you give me number two? Okay. Good job. Now. All right. How many sticks do we have there? One, two, three, four. Good. Can you give me number four? Okay. Good job. All right. How many sticks now? One, two, three, four, five. Good. Give me number five. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> wow. So how many sticks do you have left? Mm, one. Good job. Now give me number one. Good. Beautiful. This activity is really good for critical thinking. Okay, Ara, what number is this? Five. Five. Now can you count five sticks for me? Okay, let us One. Good job. Five sticks. Beautiful. We only have last one. Yes, we have one left. You can use this activity just to make sure that your child actually knows the number. It's not enough for your child to be able to count one to hundred alone, but can that child identify the numbers? Can the child identify those numbers? Can they quantify and work along with those numbers? Okay, Ara, what number is this? Three. Three. Now pick three sticks for me and stop. Good job. You stop when you get to three. Beautiful. Good. Okay, Ara, look at this. What number is this? Two. Now, can you pick two sticks for me? Okay, one and two. Good job. Good. You did so well. Yeah. I'm going to give you more. Mm, okay. Now, look at that number. What number is that? Four. Four. Can you give me four sticks, please? Um, no problem. One, two, three, and four. Good.
good job good job this activity helped them to you know think well it helped their critical thinking it helped them to think you know it's really really good okay ara let me give you one more let's do it one more time how many is this ara five five now can you count five six for me Good job, good job, clap for yourself, smart girl. Now, Ara, can you count how many sticks we have over there? Yes, one, two, three, four, five. Good, now show me five. Good, thank you, very good. This is so okay. This helps them to be able to differentiate numbers, you know, between numbers and be able to, you know, count the number of sticks. Even before your child start writing, yeah. this activity is really good. Now, Arad, how many sticks do I have here? One, two. Show me number two. Good. Now, put your number two. Good. How about this? How many sticks do I have here? One. Show me number one. Over here. Good. You're going to count all together because this sign means all together. all together. Now, how many sticks do I have in total? Let's count. One. Two. two. Good. Show me number three. Over here. Equals three. Equals three. Good. Good. Count it together. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Good job. Count it one more time. One, two, three, four, five. Show me five. And over here. Okay. Put it over there. Good job. This means four. Plus one is a five. Good job. This is another activity that I engage her with. So these are basically fruits and vegetables, just few of them. Uh, I'll have her pick each of them and tell me what it is and tell me the first sound of each. I so doing is helping your child to be able to know that every item or everything has a name. As a beginning sound and this is in preparation for reading if you're trying to introduce your child to probably blending or knowing their sound just or you want to know how well your child knows his or her sound i want to recommend this activity okay so ara can you pick one for me pick one pick any one okay what's that Rubbery. what's the first sound good put it in your basket pick another one What's that? Apple. What's the first sound? Apple. Good. Apple. Okay. What's that? Pear. And what's the first sound? Good. Put it in your basket. Pick another one. And what's that? Orange. Okay. What's the first sound? Oh. Good. Oh, orange. Good. Pick another one. What's that? Tomato. Okay, what's the first sound? Good job. It's going to help them to identify the first sound in everything. You could just take them around the house, just show them things around and just ask them. Okay, even your name, Ara. When I say Ara, what's the first sound in Ara? Uh. First sound is A. Uh. Okay, can you pick another one? What's that? What are you holding? Lime. Lime. <laughs> What's the first sound? Uh, uh, uh. Uh, uh, good. Pick another one. Good. What's that? Okay. What's the first sound? Good job. Smart girl. Pick another one. Corn. Oh, that's a corn. Yes. What's the first sound? Good job. The first sound for corn is good. Pick another one. What's that? Mushroom. Mushroom. What's the first sound? Mm. Thank you. Pick another one. Okay, what's that? Mango. Mango. What's the first sound? Mm. Good job. So you can see it's in a fun way. You don't want to be too hard on them. Just come down to their level and they're going to do exactly what you want them to do. So this is what? What are you holding? 
Banana. Good. What's the first sound for banana? B Good. B Good. We are still learning. I'm going to make sure that, you know, when she picks one, she doesn't really have to repeat the sound. She will just have to say it once, you know. What's that you're holding? What's that? Carrot. Carrot. So what's the first sound? Okay, good job. Your name is Ara. And the first sound for Ara is A. Ah. Good. Now when I say fun, hmm. what's the first sound? Good. When I say baby. Baby. What's the first sound for baby? Look. Good. Ara, can you keep your hands to yourself? Keep your hands to yourself. Okay, when I say cup, what's the first sound for cup? Good. Now, this is a what? table. Table. What's the first sound for table? Good job. Now, Ara, clap for yourself. So, parents, you might want to consider this activity for your children. This is a very nice way of them, you know, just engaging your child in a meaningful activity. Thank you so much for watching this video to the end. If you enjoyed this video, kindly leave me a comment in the comment section. Please subscribe to my channel, like this video, turn on your notification button to be the first to see my next upload. Till then, bye. I will say bye. Bye. <laughs>